Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is D Free, and we are playing one of the most popular and successful free-to-play games out there on the market and I'm here to tell you that while I've been having a ton of fun with this game you can too by checking it out via the link down below in the description and if you do that you can also get a huge head start by getting the free champions as well to get started so anyway check out the link down below in the description or scan the QR code on the screen when you first start off the game, you can start with three super strong epic champions and a rare hero to get the edge right at the start of your raid adventure. You must click the link in the description to receive Light Sword and an epic champion from the Sacred Order. His kit allows you to keep a team alive with an increased defense buff and a revive on death skill. You are not going to want to miss that. Also, once you achieve level 15 in the game, you will also receive Juliana, another epic champion and a boss killer from the Sacred Order. She is an attack type warrior wielding the magic affinity, thus very powerful against enemies with affinities. And on top of that, viewers can also choose between these codes for new players for additional epic and rare champions. Guys, you are going to get some amazing choices for free characters in the game, so do not sleep on these. We'll start off with Raid for Kellen. Kellen the Shrike. The epic champion from Sylvan Watcher's faction, Kellen has a powerful damage AoE. In addition, he has another move which reduces a target's turn meter. This is super useful for a number of different bosses. There's also silver and energy. And by entering the promo code Raid for Mord, you'll unlock Mordecai, the epic champion from the Sacred Order faction. With the ability to HP burn enemies, which is one of the premier abilities in the game, Mordecai is super duper useful on any team and especially against specific bosses like Spider or Hydra. You'll also get 1 Auto Battles 50, also 200k Silver and 10 Drink Red. And by entering the promo code I Love Raid, you'll unlock the rare champion Preserver. Preserver is from the Banner Lords faction and has a powerful AoE decreased defense debuff which is helpful in taking out the enemies faster. This is also a super rare move that not a lot of heroes carry and will significantly help you in the early game especially. You'll also get 5 XP brew magic, 100k silver, and an XP plus 100 for one day. Now I know that you're wondering, well where can I even enter all these juicy codes you just gave us deep free? And to do that you're going to click on the left hand side here and enter where it says promo codes right there in the center. Now I've already done so, but where that box is for me, you'll be able to input your code, confirm, and if the code is accepted, it will then put you on a 24 hour cooldown, but don't worry, you will get everything that was promised to you in the video thus far. So again, check it out, enter those codes, scan the QR code for some more freebies, and all that fun stuff in Raid Shadow Legends. Now we're going to check out the brand new Cursed City on Raid Shadow Legends. First things first, if you're wondering what exactly the Cursed City is, it's a month-long excursion to the accursed city of Centranos, also under the rule of Aminus the Lunar Archon. Now, that's a lot of jargon that you may or may not understand, but basically those are locations and characters in the game, if you're following, right? <laughs> Hopefully I say these things right, because sometimes they're kind of like hard for me. I just butcher a ton of names. Let me know if you're the same kind of way. And anyways, Lunar is the final boss of the mode. Players will need to clear stages of differing types across four districts to hunt down three Eclipse Keys, and once you have them, you can then head to the Eclipse Tower in the center of the Cursed City and fight Amius, the Lunar Archon. And if you're wondering why you should even be excited about this mode in the first place, let's break down some of the awesome features that are available to you. First and foremost, this is expansive PvE content with 100 different stages, 100 different stages to complete across four increasingly difficult districts, including double boss stages and a final fight against Amius, the Lunar Archon, like I mentioned, a boss who can change between two different forms like mythical champions. Also, there is a ton of player choice. Players all start in the same location, but can then pick their own path through the city, moving between stages to aim for specific locations. There are also amazing rewards that you get by exploring the Cursed City, clearing stages, and completing Cursed City quests. Players can earn new supersonic and merciless artifacts, as well as special cursed remnants, which can be used to summon epic and mythical champions. By taking on the Cursed City on hard mode, players can also work towards earning mythic champion, the ancient demon spawn, Carnage the Anarch. And if that wasn't enough for you, there is a ton of replayability because each month, the Cursed City resets with brand new battle conditions for stages and more rewards for you to claim. And here's a look at it in game, the Cursed City. So you can start off on any of these locations for C1 or D1, it looks like. You can just kind of go through and choose where you want to work from. And then as you go, you go to D2, D3, D4, 
and then you get to choose the paths starting in some of these different areas, right? So as you see, there are different artifacts that you can get, different rewards you can get, like silver here, some boss fights, things like that. But ultimately, it all culminates right here in the center. Oh, man. This is a month-long thing, so this is kind of interesting because this looks like it could take some real strategy, some some real amount of time and dedication and work ethic. <laughs> um, I am really, really excited about this. I wish more games kind of did this where they have this ability to, to kind of put out new content and make it like this. So we're going to start off on normal difficulty. I'll start off with C1. We'll build a team and we'll hop in. This won't last very long. I'm gonna get destroyed because the factions it wants me to use, I don't really have a lot here. So anyway, let's go in and see what we can do. I hope you guys enjoy, like I said, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you are, and check out Raid Shadow Legends. All right, so, okay, off to a solid start. Oh, wow, they are going to hit me back really hard, aren't they? Okay, this is where those epics and all that stuff that you get for all my codes and all that stuff, the QR, all the codes I gave you guys are going to come in handy because they are super duper useful when it comes to getting a head start and starting to build your account out. That is what you're going to definitely want to have happen. So we're going to use this here, shield and block damage. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I think he's just going to die directly after, so I'm not... All right, we'll go there, ignore. Okay, yeah, he just pretty much died, like I said. So I'm still a little bit behind the curve myself. I have some more rating to do, pun intended. All right, we'll eliminate you. And it's 2v1, baby. Oh crap, it's 1v1, baby. And we have a disadvantage here. Okay, cool, we're good. Never mind. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh my god, it's five against one. <laughs> <laughs> This is where you lose and stuff like this, because they just take a trillion turns. Oh, increase speed! <laughs> it's my turn now. Uh, you're going next, so might as well try to eliminate you, because why not? Oh! <laughs> oh, Executioner could not handle it by himself, but it's it's not his fault. I put I put not great stuff around him. <laughs> I do need a lot more work, so that is kind of how that looks just on the general gist of things. But I need to get back to raiding and working on those guys for sure myself. I told you guys all those amazing codes, so if you haven't already, be sure to enter them. Remember the codes are limited to one use per person and that you must wait 24 hours after entering a promo code before entering another, as you saw, you know, the exact same thing happened to me because I, I myself was trying to use the codes and the game was like, hey, Cool it, cool it, slow your roll. Just remember to input them as the days go by anyway, while results are available for you. So anyway, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan my QR code to get two free epics. And to, don't forget to pick one promo code for new users for another epic. And you can find me in the game under the clan D Freezy with the name D Free. Be sure to join first come first served. I'll see you all in the game, which you can see. Right there, D free. <laughs> so be sure to join me and I'll see you all on the battlefield. Click the link, all that fun stuff. I'll see you there.